And here in Tulsa, Tulsa Special Operations Team, well, they train for active shooter situations on a regular basis. News on 6's Erin Conrad watched some of their training today, and she's live on the story. Erin? Well, that's right, Lori. This kind of training happens at least two times a month, if not more. And they train for specific instances like hostage situations or standoffs and especially active shooter situations. The Tulsa Special Operations Team is training for a hostage situation. They are a specialized group of 50 different kinds of officers within TPD on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to respond. In recent years, started adding Tulsa Fire Department as well as EMSA to our training uh, scenarios. Um, so everybody's on the same sheet of music. Everybody has an understanding of what their job and responsibility is. And from the law enforcement perspective, 100%, I can tell you that we are as prepared as we can be. The team prepares regularly for active shooter situations like the one in Virginia. But team commander Captain Mike Eckert says it's not just about their training. We train our officers, we train with our officers uh, for active shooter response because it's going to be, uh, at least the initial response is going to be a patrol response. With more shootings like this happening everywhere. We use the term target rich environment. From schools to offices, government buildings to now ball fields. Everyone has to know what approach to take. Certainly when you add the element of an outdoor setting as opposed to an in interior uh, setting, it makes that situation that much more difficult. I asked police what the average citizen should do if they are in an active situ shooter situation. You can look for that answer on our website inside this web story at newson6.com. Live on the scene on the story in Tulsa, Erin Conrad, News on 6.